talk about Suburban Blind where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com and I will try and get your bottle on the show as fast as possible. Right now, we are currently under construction here at Bourbon Blind. We are building a brand new filming studio along with a bar area and I can't tell you how stoked I am about it, but uh, that means boxes of alcohol. So if I don't get your bottle on for the next couple weeks, maybe a month and a half, um, bear with us. We will be doing um, some uh, different bottles and uh, I will be getting back to you guys as soon as possible. Tonight's gonna be a battle of the bourbons and this suggestion was actually from Kyle. We were live and he was drinking, I believe, Master's Keep and he said he would like to pair it against Russell's Reserve. And some of our lovely Patreon members uh, reminded me of this. So we're gonna do this tonight. We have Master's Keep Rye, which I'm gonna open the box and hide it, versus Russell's Reserve Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey Single Barrel. So yeah, it's a single barrel, but it is what it is. So as always, the guys aren't gonna know what they're drinking. They're gonna tell you how much they're willing to pay for the bourbon in their glass or rye uh, based on the taste of what's in their glass, if I can get the bottle out, instead of the hype of the label. And every once in a while, we get some really exciting results. So green is going to be on my bottle on my left, and I'm going to pour it, hopefully not knocking any glasses over, in our etched glasses. Because uh, wild turkey's pretty. And it's a nice bottle. And then our standard Russell's Reserve. And my bags are a little bit different shape, so I'm going to keep the bottles on the same side, but I might have to flip my bags. Hopefully, I can't remember. I know Jay does not like rice, typically. Hopefully Nick does. If he doesn't, I'm sorry. So... If you, this is your first time watching our show, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We also have a uh, Bourbon Blind Nation on Facebook. Love to see everyone there. And uh, if you love us, go ahead, head on over to our Patreon page, see all the fun stuff we have. Shirts from Trees, shirts from Teespring, uh, glasses, bottles, uh, all sorts of different tiers, and uh, chats. So uh, I think that takes care of everything. We have, again, just for my remembering, Wild Turkey is in the etched glasses and we have the Russell's Reserve in the straight glasses. They're on either side. I'm gonna go get the guys and let's see what Battle of the Bourbons, rye style, they like better. What's up guys welcome back to bourbon blind i'm kyle i'm nick y'all know what's up let's get into these glasses mm. if you guys don't know uh bourbon blind nation on facebook is uh just getting ready to release our rest of our tickets for uh the bourbon blind nation meetup may 2nd 2020 depending on when you're watching this video and um Right now it's for, for Patreon members only, and we're right about to open it up to uh, uh, the rest of the nation. So be sure to check that out, man. Yeah, I'm um, excited about it. Me too. Should you be know, a good time. You know what else I'm excited about? Mm -hmm. The studio that's oh. getting closer to getting done. Progress, progress. Progress, progress. Getting a concrete pad poured right now, so. Check it out. Check it's it, check it. Um, be some picture updates on Patreon. Yep. And, Maybe uh, some will trickle their way into Bourbon Blind Nation. Who knows? Um, I'm also doing a like a time lapse video of most of the process. Some of it's been done in the rain. I was like, I'm not bringing my camera out in the rain. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's not worth it. No, not not worth it. And maybe <laughs> one day in Tennessee it'll stop raining. Who knows? Maybe one day. <laughs> For literally one day. Or some of a day. <laughs> I think in the past month it's not rained for less than three days total. Probably. 
It's not been pretty. My yard is burnt. <laughs> burnt. <laughs> Which is ruined for those of you that don't speak Tennessee. Right. Or country Tennessee. I don't know. You pick. Don't care. So. Oh, let's see what this is. I do. Um, Aaron, which one of these goes to which one? So. Aaron told us which one is which. I'm actually going to do this. So it's glass so, on the left, glass on the right. Right. So right us. glasses go to the right, left glasses go to the right. Our right, not yours. Um, so got another battle of the bourbons. Battle of the bourbons. Which one are we starting with? I say we start with the clear, right. the unmarked so, glasses, which go to the bottle on our right. Which is their left. So they're going left to right. Good call. I know you didn't think of that, but I'll give you credit anyway. I didn't. I try not to think. It's easier. <laughs> not to think, only drink. I don't get paid enough to think. I definitely don't. Oh. Interesting nose. Yeah. Picking nope. up something on it, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Right. <laughs> there's there's something in there, but the words there's, escape me. There's there's definitely stuff in there. There are things, and it's but it's very very balanced, and it's like mm-hmm. there's nothing sticking out. Yeah, like it's not... I get some fruitiness. Of course, you get like this sweetness, some vanilla, some caramel, caramel, like the um, the typical bourbon things. But right, there's something. Right. There's something, an underlying some thing. Like some baking spices. Yeah. Like yeah. some clove or something. and Some slightly lighter than dark fruits. Middle fruits, is that a thing? Right, like almost like a berries kind yeah. of. Right. I don't know. I could just be crazy. You probably anyway, are. Let's get in here and let's see what's up with it. Cheers, guys. First sip's a bit warm, a bit hot. It is. It's definitely above, at or above 100 proof. Uh, just For sure. Initial sip. But there's some good flavors. There's, yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot going on in there. Yeah. I like it, that. It's like, definitely some like cherries. Mm-hmm. That sweetness and vanilla, the caramel, like all really kind of come along with it. Some, it's some like, like a wave. Some oakiness. Yeah. No, I can definitely pick up some, some oaky. Mm. Okie chokey. What is that? I want to put my finger on what that thing is on the nose, but I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. The palate, though, mm. is. The nose is good, but the palate is. It's unique for it sure. Is. In a good way. I like it. I almost get like a rye spice. It's not, like, you know I don't like rye. Y'all know know. I don't like rye. But it's not, I don't know. Mm. I have confusions, but I'm not upset. Don't finish Mm -mm. it. Right, I just remembered. We got two bourbons tonight. Right. So. That's good. I'm I'm, I'm gonna, I don't want to. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Not happening. No, not happening. Because I need to taste it after that one. Why do you need to taste it after that one? Because my memory sucks. I, that's not wrong. <laughs> that's not wrong. All right. I'm, I'm Glass number two. Interesting. Not? With water, the flavors are all there. The heat goes away. The nose on number two is, compared to number one, almost non-existent. Yeah, it's a it's a totally different animal. Like, I am all up in there, and... I pick up a little bit of eth- ethanol, but... And it, it's not to say that it doesn't have one, but obviously, like, the comparison. Right. Like, like that gets the sweetness, the, the earthiness, everything. Like, this one... 
a little bit of background sweetness, but that's it's not much else. It's I mean it's nice and dark. Mm. Yeah, it's got good color. Got nice legs on it. Right. I mean, not quite like a runway model, but you know they're there. Yeah, well, yeah. It's like a short runway model, like, right. like the midget fashion shows. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so the palate is definitely got more going on than the nose. Yep. A lot that, of sweetness. There's a lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. Almost the the level of sweetness reminds me of a lot of the finished bourbons. You know, like mm. a lot of those will carry some pretty heavy sweetness, like Angel's Envy and stuff like that. Right. Like, I don't think it is finished, but... No, but that's I, I know just kind of what like it reminds that, me of. Right, like that level of... It does have a nice... Like, it, it evolves to like a nice spice mm -hmm. at the end. So... Yeah, the, definitely the, the finish on it is... I'm going to let that sit for a minute and see what the finish does. Yeah. Because that's... I mean, it's definitely good, but... Yeah. No, for sure. That's... Very, very, very different. Very different, for yeah. sure. Um... Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to take a sip of the first one. You can come. Mine has the Just water, so you can compare if you want. I will take a little sip with the water. So that kind of spice finish is still kind of hanging out on the yeah, drink works. number two. Mm -hmm. Bottle, yay. I like it without the water. Yeah, I do too, but I yeah. mean, the, putting the water in it didn't really hurt it. No, it's not, it, it didn't destroy it. No, not no. at all. It's, like I said, it just, it took away some of that heat up front, mm -hmm. but left the vast majority of it intact, Right, which is interesting. I do like this one better. This one. Right. To me, it just, it has a little more going on. It has more of that earthy... Baking spices, which I enjoy, um, where this one is more like straight up sweetness. Some water in that, see what it does. I guess I'm the only one being brave tonight, Connor. See if it be like it is. See if it be like it is. It might do, we don't know. It's interesting. <sighs> But a water brought out some some spices, yeah, in the uh, nose on this bottle. Yeah, so that's that one, right? So I'm going to say, mm, mm -mm. no. Try that. I, I don't want to. Nope. Do Not it. with that face. For your viewers, sir. For science. For science. Yeah, it's not. I just got real hot. Yeah. A lot of heat, a lot of... So much heat. Sour. Yeah. Like, acidity. And not yeah. like Sour Patch Kids, because those are delicious. Mm. But, uh... You thirsty? We just needed a little bit of... Something? Yeah, just to we'll clear that off my tongue. So I'm going to give my price definitely without the water on that one. Yeah. So I would say for me, I'm in that one 60 to 70 bucks. I'm okay. probably in this one closer to 80 to 100. I'm going like 50 to 55 mm -hmm. on Bottle Chow. Mm -hmm. uh, probably 60 to 70 on Bottle Chow. So, our our difference is similar, but I'm, so I'm you, just a you, little bit lower. You a little bit like this one better, where I definitely prefer prefer. A well, that's like a, a the like low to mid fifties, yeah, which is a solid right solid price. Which is that's up to seventy, even with the water. I'm up to seventy on that one. With the water on this one, I'm down at like thirty five, because that killed it. Nah, I'm, yeah, definitely like 20. 50 to 60, 80 to 100. I'm not as strong as you tonight, sir. 
So, should we see what these are? All right, which body you want to relieve first? We'll, we'll do this one first since we did it first. Okay. See what that is. Oh. You like a rye. That's one. That's one out of all of them. Yeah. So, in number two, is it another rye? I don't think so. I don't think it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I was, uh, I wasn't wrong wow. that I was picking up the rye spice on that. You, you were. I didn't pick up any on that. No, that was just straight up sweetness. Mm-hmm. Which is with, weird. With the water, it was terrible. Yeah, don't don't add water to that. Mm -mm. It's it's good like it is. Um, Realistically, though, I don't think either of our prices hit the retail on that. Mm, mm, not even close. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> but I think that our prices were above retail I think that's on that one. Like sixty bucks retail, right? And I, am, I am Russell Single Barrel, always a huge fan. Um, the Cornerstone, though, wow, I. Hmm. There are many reviewers out there who do similar things to us. You guys watch them too. Um, a lot of them say that the Cornerstone really isn't much better than a regular Russell Single Barrel rye. And and I would I would tend to agree. I I would actually I just, say that the Russells is better. I mean, we both said that the Russells is better. Uh, DJ Rarebird One Hundred One. Yeah. Phenomenal. I tasting that knowing what it was, I was a huge fan of that. Tasting that not knowing what it was, you were not a huge fan of it. Liked it, absolutely. Yeah. But but weren't like swooning over it by any means. Yeah, still just lots of sweetness. That's this is a minimum of nine years mm -hmm. in this one. And uh one thing about these Master's Keep bottles, A it's they're, a cool bottle. They're sure. freaking gorgeous. And the caps on them, like they're... Solid. Yeah. Yeah, like that's that's stout. Mm-hmm. You could, you could hurt someone. If somebody breaks into your house and you keep one of these <laughs> by your bed, you can knock them out. Right. They're done. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Uh, speaking of, anything wild turkey related, if you are even... Remotely, if you're just like bourbon, go check out rarebird101.com. Um, David over there is putting out some awesome content. He is everything wild turkey, and uh, he is the guru. Um, but he, def yeah. he definitely likes him some turkey. Both of these out of wild turkey, and uh, I, I do. I prefer the Russell's Reserve single barrel. So, um, for about sixty bucks, definitely go check that out, man. I think the moral of this episode is sometimes you don't think it'd be like it is. But it do. But it do. But it do. But it do. So, until uh, next week, Friday noon central, cheers and drink blind. I don't even know what my life is now. Wow. You like two rice. <laughs> that is just straight up sweetness.